it's Christy with Sholi. Today I'm going to walk you through a deep clean on a Fuji M model applicator. You guys need to have all these things um, and it should take about 10 minutes or so. So the first thing we'll wanna do is unscrew the cap. The next thing that we're gonna want to do is to remove all the parts. I like to start with the solution screw in the back and we simply untwist and then there's a spring that follows it. Okay, we're gonna put all of those in our bowl. Um, I like to say a two to one ratio, two parts gun cleaner and then one part water. And we're gonna just let those parts soak. The next part we're going to remove is the needle. Um, sometimes grabbing a little bite on the trigger and then pulling it out is best. Tip up so we don't bend that needle at all. The next piece is this gland nut in here and you'll need your little wrench and we're gonna use the tip of it, this little piece right here. Um, hold the trigger back and then get a little bite. So you'll wanna pull down righty tighty lefty loosey. Loosen enough with the wrench that you can just hand loosen it the rest of the way and let that little piece fall into your hand or down on your little towel. There it is and then pop that piece in the water. The next piece that we're going to remove is the air cap ring, which is this black piece. Just simply unscrew it. With that piece oops, comes the air cap. You see all the buildup? And just pop that in the water as well. And then this is the nozzle right here and the distributor plate. And we'll take the nozzle off. This is really important to remove this piece, you guys. You'll use this little part right here on the wrench. And then righty tighty lefty loosey. Again, use the wrench and then you should be able to hand loosen it. So here's the nozzle itself and then the plate will pop off as well. If this piece doesn't come off, that's okay. Um, it doesn't need to come off not necessary but you can see there is buildup and we want to make sure we clean that free of any solution buildup. You can see this air feed tube has a little bit of uh, buildup in it as well. This should be clear okay it's intended for air and air only so if there's solution in there um, in this case you can try to clean it and then put it back on um, if that doesn't clean at all, then you'll need to replace it. In this case, it's, the Fuji has really soft plastic, so you should be able to just wiggle it off on that piece, and again on that piece, and then we can clean this as well. Next, we're going to remove the solution straw, which is on the lid assembly, and you just simply pull that out. If it comes out with ease like that, you can see on the end, you guys, over time it does expand because it is plastic, I would replace it. The next piece is this duck bill, also on the lid assembly. Simply just pull and squeeze. Sometimes it's hard with gloves, so you could use your towel to help. There we go. And there we go, we'll just soak that one. Uh, this foam gasket looks good. It doesn't have a lot of wear, so I would keep that foam gasket. And that's taking everything apart. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean the outside of the applicator. I like to clean it free in all these parts. Make sure it's free of any buildup. We never want to submerge the applicator in water, but a nice thorough cleaning will do the job just fine. Okay, and then wipe it free with a dry cloth. I don't really recommend paper towels, you guys, for the fact that the paper towel residues can get stuck in the little crevices and then it clogs your gun. So if you can, a dry cloth is best. And then we do the same for the parts. Taking all the parts, cleaning them. So now we have all the parts dry. Now we're going to reassemble the applicator. Again, we're gonna start with the last piece that we took off, which was the air cap um, and the nozzle. So the distributor plate, 
Um, this one is kind of hard to tell the difference between the two, but you'll notice one side of the ring is larger than the other one. And that's, we want the largest piece in first. So we just place that there. We can flip the gun upside down so that we let gravity work for us. And then we're going to put the nozzle on. Simply screw it with our hand as much as we can. And then we'll get our little wrench and snug that piece up. Again, not hold tight, just snug tight, okay? Perfect. And then we'll do the air cap. Just place it on there. You might have to hold it or you could flip your gun down like this again and screwing the cap on. Again, vertical is usually the best for spray technique for a full body spray. The next piece that we're gonna do is this gland nut piece inside there. All right, and it's a little one. This one's really tricky. You wanna insert the piece and then try to hand screw it on. Again, holding the trigger so that it gives you a little bit more space in there. And now we're going to insert the needle. Push it through the back. If the needle is not going in freely, you guys, the gland nut is probably too tight. So just loosen it up a little bit and then try again. You never wanna force the needle in. From there, we're gonna do the spring. And we just place it in there. Um, and this piece has a little bit of threads, a solution screw. So I like to put a little bit of air tool oil just so that it lubricates the threads and it glides a lot easier. And for this piece, uh, the spring is really springy, so pushing and twisting, you're gonna have to do for a few turns to get a good bite on that. Tighten it all the way up until you can't tighten it anymore and the trigger is locked. From this point, the average spray tech um, opens it up about two half a turns or one full rotation. Um, I like to do two half a turns. That's a good starting point. All right, good. So we've got the solution screw in. Now we are going to work on the lid assembly. All right, now we are going to put the duck bill back on. You guys, if this piece is really stiff or if you're not able to squeeze and get a little bit open, it needs to be replaced. This piece, you just Wiggle it on, there you go, and it's all set. Um, as I said, this solution tube is um, a little worn, so I'm gonna replace it with brand new, and the only thing here is make sure it's flush up against the lid assembly. Now we're going to assemble the air feed tube. This piece we were able to clean up, we were able to dry it, so now it's good to put it back in. Like I said, if this has a lot of buildup, you guys just replace it. This is a little bit, the plastic is very malleable, so it slides on with ease. And I'm just pushing and kind of wiggling it back until I see no threads, all right? And then I'm gonna do the same for the top piece, all right? I'm gonna get a little bite on there, and then I like to push and wiggle until there's no threads showing. It doesn't need to be all the way to the top, but just so that no threads are showing. You can see there's a little bit of play in here. So if on the ends there was a lot of buildup, you could snip a little bit of the end and you still have a little piece. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. You could take your little uh, box cutter or simply scissors will work and just take a little bit of the piece off. And then look, you still have enough tubing to cover up the threads. So you can salvage the one that you already have, okay? So from here, we've reassembled and cleaned the M model. Now we need to do a test spray, all right? Um, what I like to do for a test spray, you guys, is to fill up maybe an ounce of water and then just a little splash of gun cleaner, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to attach the gun, we'll attach our hose, Turn our, turn our machine on, and then do a test spray into a towel. 
you can clean your tent, you can do it into the sink, whatever. But I want you guys to hold this trigger consistently for 45 seconds and make sure that it's spraying consistently, that you have no dripping from the gland nut, there's no dripping from any other areas, and that it's consistently spraying. Um, once you've done that for 45 seconds, you can spray through the rest of this and then your deep clean is complete. That completes your M model deep clean. Good luck you guys and I hope that helps. Do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions along the way. We're happy to help.